Hi everybody, Ali from Potent Printables here. This will be a quick video. It's an update to my Roses Rebel Alliance Iris Ring from my last video. So why should Star Wars fans have all the fun? Well, they shouldn't. So I had the thought of, well, why don't we make a generic Iris Ring that can be 3D printed and then people can customize it and put whatever symbol or image they want to in the center of it. This video will show you how to take most any image and put it at the center of the 3D printed iris ring. However, I will defer to my previous video on how to 3D print and construct the ring itself. So if you haven't seen that, please check it out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. All right, let's get into it. This is an exploded view of the iris ring assembly. And there are two options for adding a symbol to this assembly. You can 3D model and extrude from this disc a symbol, or you can print out a symbol on a piece of paper and bond it to this disc. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. You can also make a new cap for this ring as I provided those dimensions as well. Here are the dimensions of the disc if you want to 3D model and extrude a symbol similar to what was done with the Rebel Alliance Iris ring. And these are the relevant dimensions of the cap. If you want to make a custom cap for your ring, I've also included a PDF of this in the Thingiverse file. As I mentioned earlier, I'll defer to my earlier video on Rose's Rebel Alliance ring for how to 3D print and construct the iris ring itself, as they are vastly similar. The only difference being the symbol at the center. The STL files are on this Thingiverse page, and I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now we're going to move into talking about how to take most any image and put it at the center of the iris ring. And to do that, we need to first talk about a free open source program called Inkscape. Inkscape is the open source equivalent to Adobe Illustrator, which lets you manipulate and create graphics. And we're going to use it to take our custom image and get it in the correct size and format to go into the iris ring. So now we need to get Inkscape downloaded and installed. Also, don't forget that there are many, many tutorials available through Google, so don't hesitate to use those as well. When you first boot up Inkscape, the interface will look something like this. Included in the Thingiverse files will be a simple template page.svg file that we're going to open using Inkscape. So here we just do a file open and browse to that simple template page.svg and open it up. Once the file opens, you should see some symbols that have already been preloaded by me and some other template markers that are ready for use. For a given symbol, the outer circle is what you're going to be cutting out and the inner circle is how big you should size the image so that it's seen appropriately through the iris. Now we need to find the image of your choice. So we're gonna do a Google image search, in this case for the Captain America symbol. And then you can look among the results, look at what looks best to you. And then we'll right click, save image as, and then save that out. And we can then import that into Inkscape. It can either be a JPEG or a PNG, it doesn't matter. Then we'll head back to Inkscape, do a file import, browse and select our Captain America JPEG, select OK, and it should import, and then we can grab it and move it around. Now we want to lock the aspect ratio of the symbol so we can easily resize it. So if you follow the cursor, Right below the menus there, you'll see there's a lock symbol where the mouse cursor is on right now. You wanna click that and that will lock the aspect ratio. And now that it's locked, we can grab any of the corners of the image to resize it to the appropriate size that we need. The other hotkeys I'm using are holding the scroll wheel down to pan and holding the control key down and moving the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So you can see I'm just resizing the image, 
zooming in and then repositioning the image to be centered as well as possible and within the bounds of that inner circle. Once I'm happy with the position, I'm going to right click on the outer circle, select ungroup, and then click off of it and then click onto the inner, small inner circle and delete it. Now we should have your image of choice in the correct template format. And we can delete everything you don't want to print and then go ahead and print it. We'll do that with a normal control P and click print. Then you can cut out the symbol of your choice using scissors and then we're going to bond it to the 3D printed disc using double stick tape as you see here. Once you get the image nicely bonded on, then we're going to press the 3D printed disc into the ring base and we just need to make sure that we get the alignment of the image to the base handle correct. And the cap can be bonded on as shown here. Please go back to my earlier video for how exactly to do that. And here we can see the finished product. Most of these parts are right off the printer with very little post-processing. And you can see that the iris is functional and we have our symbol of choice right at the center. There you have it. Now you can customize your 3D printed iris ring to whatever you like most. If you guys are finding these videos useful, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.